Hi, I'm Josh Oliver with Zanata Consulting. In this video, I'm going to go over the Zoho Commerce integration with Zoho Inventory. This was taken from our May 2023 monthly webinar when we talk about Zoho Inventory, Shopify, and WooCommerce best practices. If you find this video useful, please like and subscribe below. If you have any questions, please add those in the comments and we will be sure to answer them. Enjoy. All right, so Zoho Commerce is a Zoho application that tries to compete with Shopify and WooCommerce. And Zoho Commerce is built on Zoho Sites as its platform for managing the front end. And essentially, it's just a similar integration where you can install Zoho Commerce on your Shopify site and then orders placed through that site will feed in as orders into Zoho Inventory. For what it does, it's a great application, but I will say Zoho Commerce has some limitations with what you can customize and how you can theme your site. And that's not really on Zoho Commerce, that's more so on Zoho Sites uh, that's causing that limitation. I know Zoho Sites has done a lot uh, within the last two years to make that a little bit better of an experience, but it's still limited and you're not going to get the same customization that you do get with Shopify or with WooCommerce. So with that said, it's much easier to set up. You can have a Zoho Commerce site set up within a few hours, maybe even an hour, uh, and you're ready to go ahead and accept payments. Now, it's not going to look as pretty as a Shopify or WooCommerce or WordPress page, but you can get it up and running very quickly. It's, I believe, cheaper. We'll have to look at the pricing. Let's go into the editor. So when you're, when you're editing a Zoho Commerce page, it's all drag and drop. There's not much customization you can do as far as HTML and CSS. You have basic pages you can set up. And again, if you're looking for a basic pay, basic site that you can just throw out in an hour or two, Zoho Commerce is going to be great for you. It, it is what it is, basically just a front end for accepting orders. And you can see it as that. Uh, once the order is placed, then you can manage that from within Zoho inventory, go about the order process from there. I don't believe you can ship through Zoho Commerce because all the shipping is managed through inventory, but you accept payments, you can set up your taxes, publish products, of course, and products really is a much better integration with inventory because it's as soon as you add it into inventory, it's going to add it into Zoho Commerce after a quick little approval. If I go into, because I've already set up Zoho Commerce, if I go into uh, an item here, let's go to all items. I believe we had an item A. So item A, you can see this is integrated with Zoho Commerce and you can see it's an active sales channel. If you had Shopify integrated, you would also see that as an active channel here, which I haven't set up Shopify on our store yet. I have, but I haven't synced this item over. Uh, so this item is not integrated. But if, if it was integrated both with Shopify and Zoho Commerce, you would, to, you would see two associated sales channels. So we have our items. Uh, you basically publish this site when you're ready to go launch. And then you have orders coming in. So orders, again, very basic. It, it is what it is. It's just an order with an item associated and that gets fulfilled through Zoho inventory. You can do categories and you can do collections to kind of manage the front end with filtering and some other thing, some other like kind of basic store functionality. It's not going to be what you get from Shopify or WooCommerce, but it, it does exist. Uh, and then you have your site builder. So if you want to stay within the realm of Zoho, check out Zoho Commerce, at least spend an hour on it and see if it's going to work for you. If it does, then it's much easier to set up and you're ready to go and it's already integrated with Zoho Inventory. There's really nothing else you need to do there. As far as pricing goes, this is not included inside of Zoho One. So unfortunately, you will still need to pay for this. And based on your plan, you can either get it for $22 per month and that's the starter plan. Transaction fee is 1%. It's 1% transaction fee above $1,000 a month. So if you're less than 1,000, you don't even have a transaction fee. If you're over 1,000, then you'll have a 1% transaction fee on that plus your monthly rate. So choose the plan that's going to work best for you. Uh, you can get your rates down to 0.5% uh, if you are on the advanced plan at $140 a month. And that's billed annually if you're doing monthly, which I recommend just do annual. You're going to get the best rates. If you're monthly, then you're going to pay a little bit more. 
other than that, uh, the other differences between these plans is the number of users you can add. So number of sales agents, the number of contributor accounts, basically who is able to access the settings on the back end. And then you have a few other things in here to, to take a look at. Product count, let's say you have, if you have over 2000 products, then you definitely need to upgrade to either the advanced or the professional. Uh, so take a look at that. And then there's also a customer portal limitation on the starter plan. So all in all, similar pricing structure where it's going to be a monthly rate plus a transaction fee. In this case, it is less than Shopify. So $22 versus $29. And then it's a 1% transaction fee on something over uh, $1,000 a month. So find what's going to work best for you. Different shopping carts are going to have pros and cons. So high level Shopify is going to be a very easy one to set up, very customizable as far as the front end go. And it's leading industry leading as far as managing a very seamless shopping experience online. Similar in pricing, uh, $29 per user per month plus a transaction fee. WooCommerce is a great application. It integrates with WordPress. There is so much you can do within WordPress to customize that and to make it mobile friendly and to take it to the next level. Uh, but you will need a developer to set that up and some time to give to set that up as well. Once you have it set up, then it is cheaper as far as your payments to WooCommerce. You're not having to pay. Uh, you'll just need to pay the developer to get that up and running. Uh, and the last Zoho Commerce is... Uh, the easiest one you can have that set up within a day certainly uh likely within one to two hours uh, but you are just going to pay 22 dollars per month plus a, a transaction fee so 